Hey guys, so as promised, I'm back. I'm going to show you how to make the two different popcorn balls. So the old traditional one is the one that they do with the sugar and the syrup. That's the one my mom used to make. The more recent trendy one is the one that they make with marshmallows. So if you're familiar with Rice Krispie Treats, it's exactly the same as that. We just add popcorn. So right now, I'm going to start with the ingredients and then I'll show you what to do next. So for the first batch, we're going to use one cup of popcorn. We have our canola oil ready. That's going in the bottom of our big pot here. The reason I'm using a very big pot is I want the whole layer down there to be covered in the popcorn. Once it starts stacking in a small pot, you're not going to get an even coating of oil around the popcorn and you're going to be left with pieces that didn't pop. I mean, you don't want to waste that. Okay, so I've put my heat on high and now I'm going to add the canola oil. The reason I'm using canola is it's quite a little bit more healthier than normal sunflower, in my opinion. Anyone has a different opinion. <laughs> and I don't like the way olive oil pops actually. So I've coated, I hope you can see, just about the bottom of this pot. And I'm going to start just to add a few popcorn kernels. So I've added those few. I'm going to put the lid on. I'm keeping my pot on high. There we go. And then when you start to hear the first popping, you want to open the pot, add the rest of the kennels, and then wait until the popping really starts. I'll try and show you and maybe you can hear what happened. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear this, but the pieces inside started popping. Let's see if we're lucky enough to get another one. But I want to open the lid then. And I want to add, oh, there we go. And I want to add the rest of the kennels. When it's in, I'm going to close it. And then we're going to start, we're going to wait for the starting of all of the others to start popping. Hmm, that is nice. You'll definitely hear that. I hope you guys will be able to. Okay, so right now, apart from the thunder in the background, you can definitely hear the popping has started. Now I'm going to turn my heat off, completely off, not on low, completely off. I don't want anything to burn. So this is slowing down, you can hear it's not popping as much. I just give it a good shake so that those ones at the bottom can also get to the heat. And when everything has completely stopped, we're quite close. You should be able to have a lot. I'm going to take mine off the heat now. And then we're going to leave it until it's cool. So I'm done popping. And as you can see, there's two huge bowls full. I'm not sure how many cups came out, but it's a lot. What I've done is I've divided them in two. On this side, I have a, in a, one in a stainless steel and one in the glass. The stainless steel one is the important one. The reason for this is we're going to make the hot syrup. And the hot syrup is going to be poured all over this. And we need something that would not break. So for the traditional syrup, we're going to need sugar, a cup. Corn syrup, a cup. You're going to need your coloring, any color that you want to dye it. And uh, this is a heaped tablespoon of butter or margarine, whichever one you prefer. The sugar is going to take about 5 to 10 minutes to melt. Do not get excited and put it on a higher heat to get it dissolved quicker. You're going to burn the sugar and it's not going to taste well. You want to really dissolve this on medium heat. As you lift up the spoon, you can see there's definitely still sugar. You want that to be completely smooth. So this is what we're looking for. Smooth, smooth, smooth. We're going to now add the butter. So as you can see, you can add the butter or margarine. 
and then I'm using margarine today as you can see the yellow color because my mom used to use this nowadays everything is butter butter is nice I agree but today I'm going old school and I'm using margarine so I'm just incorporating this and then when it's done incorporated everything is blended smoothly together we're going to add our coloring so now I'm adding just this little bit let me just get this in because I'm looking for that light oh that's beautiful yeah that was that's what we're looking for so I'm going to start just pouring this all over it's a little hard to do with the phone in the hand and the pot in the other. So I'm just going to show you, just throw it all over the popcorn and you're going to have to work fast after that. I'm going to try and show you as I go along. Okay, I'm coating the popcorn now. Now we're going to work to blend everything so that everything is coated here. So here we, we're going to start making our balls. It's quite warm now, so be careful not to burn yourself. You get uh, Nowadays you get latex gloves you can actually put on that's heat resistance i think a lot of people that work works with sugar uses that but all i'm going to do is i'm going to get these balls together i've coated my hands with a little bit of butter or margarine and then you're just going to make your balls so what i'm doing now is i've just created some balls like this i put the ball down i have a few sticks pretty sticks and then I'm going to press this stick right into the middle, like that, and you're going to end up with these. But we're not done yet. And lastly, I made these fondant snow thingies, and that's going on top of it. And then we just put it in a little bag. These ones don't have the snowflakes on yet. We're putting it inside of the bags to keep it fresh. Fresh, my goodness, you can see it's late. And then at the event, we're gonna take them out and add those beautiful snowflakes.